Today, I'm going to 100% complete Call of Duty Black Ops 4. What do you have in mind? I'll be collecting all 103 trophies in the game. This means I'll be playing Zombies, Specialist HQ, Multiplayer, and the hardest mode, Blackout, which is a battle royale. But this was a problem because all of the sweats and casual players have moved on to the new war zone here. So I had to hope that I could find enough online blackout matches in 2024 to even have a chance at the platinum trophy. Oh yeah, and did I mention these blackout trophies are insanely hard and had me ready to rage quit at any moment? Seven bullets! No! I had seven bullets, dude, and my teammate died on me, bro. Let's start at the beginning with my first trophy, Zombies 101, where I just had to complete the zombies tutorial. Okay. These fast travel. Use these things to fast travel. Okay. Congratulations. All right. You've completed the Zombies 101. Tutorial. And you might be wondering why am I starting in Zombies? It's because Black Ops 4 was the first COD that does not have a campaign. So I'll be going through every Zombies map first and completing every single Zombies Easter egg in the game. Starting on the map Voyage of Despair. This map is set on the Titanic. And while I was learning the layout of the map, I went for all the miscellaneous trophies first, starting with trialing experience. For this, I had to grab the Sentinel artifact. This was also the first piece I needed to start the easter egg. And speaking of the easter egg, I had to make sure I got the Kraken Wonder Weapon from the mystery box to continue, which I did get, but I gifted it to my duel so I could get another trophy for gifting a Wonder Weapon. Gifting? Yep. Straw purchase. Let's go. You're welcome, buddy. And this Kraken Wonder Weapon is an absolute beast. I used it to kill 50 zombies underwater, which got me the swimming with the fishes. Then I got my friend to train some zombies so I could try and take out nine zombies at once with the Kraken for another trophy. Got it, nice. Next, I decided to go for the Abandoned Ship Trophy, which is the Easter Egg. My friend will be helping throughout this journey, and it was time for our first boss fight. This boss has five total phases, and phases one to four are fairly easy until we reached phase five. In this last phase, we gotta shoot the eye when it starts using its beam to deal damage, but when it goes to the back of the ship and starts shaking, we have to deal a ton of damage or it will instant kill us. Let's see what happens. It's the, he's not on his second phase yet. Wait, he's so shooting. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna die, bro. Dude, just knife, knife and move. I am, I am, I am. Oh, no, 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 no. Firing at him. I got pulled in. You're dead. I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm just shooting. I'm shooting at him. I'm dead. Wow. I'm wow. Bro. How was that even possible? I sprang at him the whole time. I got sucked in by the f oh. <laughs> That was a heartbreaking finish, but we didn't want to give up, so we made it back to the final phase, and this time my friend had an overpowered rocket launcher, so when the ice started shaking again, this happened. He's okay. shaking, he's shaking. Shoot, 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 shoot. Yeah. Shooting him, shooting him. Hey. Shooting. Got him, nice. We just kept repeating that process until the eye started cracking, which means we were nearing the end of the fight. Hopefully this time we don't choke. Wait, he's about to shake. He's shaking. Yeah, he's beaming, shaking, him, shaking. beaming him, beaming him, beaming him. Beaming him. Did we get him? Is that it? Please. Let's go! Did we do it? Yes, let's go. Let's go. Oh, good job, good job. That That's was good. really we good. good. We yes, up. trophy earned, abandoned ship. Let's go. Easter egg completed. One down. Now that the first zombie map is completed, we moved on to IX, which has some fun trophies, starting with high score. This meant I had to get a score of 250,000 in the mode Zombie Rush. Zombie Rush is a mode where you get points by killing endless waves of zombies and collecting coins. I was nearing 250,000 points for the trophy. The only problem was there's way more zombies in this mode, so I'll have to clutch up. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, call it. Yeah, it's okay, you have, you have lives. Call it. I'm dead again. Uh -oh. There's a My lot of. I'm not gonna lie, there's a lot yeah, of zombies. Let's go. Ah, oh, fuck. I got hit. Yeah, run and run down, run down. We can't run all the way down, that's the thing. Oh, we lost. Hold the stairs. Hold it down, boys. I am. Uh oh. Not good. Oh my god. Not good. Go back up. Go back up. Going back up. I need my trophy. 1,000 points. Got it. High score, trophy earned. Nice. Okay, got that one done. After that, I finished up the zombie rush trophies. First, I was able to not get hit until I got a 100 combo, which got me another trophy. And the final zombie rush trophy was to obtain a team score of 500,000, which got me team player. 
With Zombie Rush finished, I was back to the regular mode where I only had a handful of miscellaneous trophies remaining until the Easter Egg. Gong Like the Wind is where I have to ring four different gongs. Each gong I ring spawns in challengers. I had to kill all these challengers in under five minutes, and we eventually made it to the last couple of challengers right here. Okay, we should have this. Got it? Yes! Gong Like the yes, Wind! let's go! Good job, good job. Something unique about this map is when I melee this rope, it gives me challenges I have to complete. For example, one is to knife 13 zombies or get 10 special weapon kills. Once I completed all 9 challenges, it gave me a golden gun and of course, I got another trophy. It was time to fight the boss, but first I hit the box to get better weapons when I noticed something interesting. Would you look at that? It was Persona 3 Reload, the sponsor of today's video. Persona 3 Reload is a rebuild from the previous Persona series that was originally released back on the PS2 in 2006, but is now reimagined on current gen consoles. This means all new cutting edge graphics, modernized quality of life features, and stylish UI. Persona 3 Reload is the perfect place to jump right into the franchise because it has its own self-contained story and has many great features like a strategic combat system, where you can engage engage in intense turn-based battles against menacing enemies and you can strategize your party's actions to achieve victory in each challenge you come across. This ensures no battle will feel repetitive or predictable. Persona 3 Reload is available for pre-order now and launches February 2nd, 2024 on PlayStation 5, PS4, Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, Windows, and Steam. And I want to thank Atlas for sponsoring today's video. It really helps me keep making this type of content. Now let's hop right back into getting these trophies. Now it was time for another Easter egg trophy. This area we were fighting in had a ton of open space for us to maneuver around the boss. But what boss are we fighting, you may ask? Well, let's take a look okay here he comes i'm throwing a homunculus throwing it okay i'm getting close and i'm shooting at him yep it was against a giant elephant and in order to defeat it we had to shoot the weak spots on the sides of its armor until it broke off we were able to break its armor pretty easily here now we just had to deal enough damage to the elephant until it collapsed surprisingly it was actually easy however this was not the end of the fight because another one spawns in right after luckily all we got to do is use the same tactic against this elephant as well Try to shoot if you can. I'm gonna grab Max got it, got it, got it. I'm popping my ult. I'm throwing him onto this. I think I'm, I'm taking him out with my ult right now. Come on, bud. You're nothing. You're nothing, buddy. This guy's nothing. What is this? Give me a hard fight. It's over. Did we get him? It's fucking over. <laughs> is it over? Oh my it's goodness. Over. Look Easy. at me. Look at me. Easy. Look at me. We're the best. We're the best. You're the best. Yes, let's go. Easy, first try. Easter egg completed on the map IX. With two zombie maps down, it was time to dive straight into Blood of the Dead, which many people say this map has the hardest Easter egg in zombies history. The first trophy match made in hell was funny because I had to ride the gondola all the way up with the warden while he was trying to kill me. All right, here we go. Let's keep running. Keep running. Uh, I'm stuck. Um, wonder if this will stun him. Yep, hey, stunned buddy. him. Stunned yeah. him. Oh, I'm the best. Oh. I'm oh, the best. Awesome. Oh, you just got outplayed, buddy. You just got outplayed. All right, let's keep, keep running, riding. Keep running in a circle. <laughs> and there it is. Yeah, it. Match made in hell. Throw fear and it's that easy. For this next trophy, I had to feed three different dogs with zombies, but I had to stand in very specific locations on the map. For dog one, I had to stand near the spawn room and snipe a zombie through a window so the dog could eat it. For dog two, I had to stand on the bottom level and take out a zombie above me. That dog was now fed. And for the final dog, I had to ride on the gondola and hit a snipe while it was moving, which will feed the final dog. There's a bunch nearby. I missed. Got it, there it is. Throw a dog a bone, trophy earned. Another one down. Since all the dogs were fed, this unlocked the Hell's Redeemer, which was an axe I could throw at zombies. I used it to take out five zombies at once, which got me senseless acts of violence. The rest of the miscellaneous trophies are really straightforward. You got the classic upgrade a wonder weapon, then use each type of wonder weapon to kill the warden, revive a downed teammate with the shield. As you can see, really easy stuff until I reached most escape alive. This was the Easter egg, which was just painful. What makes it annoying is not necessarily the boss fight, but the steps in order to get there. For example, I was out here doing Morse code for one of the steps. Let me repeat that. I'm doing Morse code in a Call of Duty game. Dot, 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 one, two, dot, dot. I'm over here on this device trying to figure out the sequence, losing my mind. 
but I eventually got it done, but things got even worse because my teammates game crashed literally right before the boss, so I had to take on this boss fight solo. Basically, in this fight, I have to kill all wardens and zombies until they stop spawning in, then I had to shoot three orbs. Once the orbs were destroyed, I turned to the middle and hit the top of the machine with a shield blast. I just rinse and repeat that until the second phase. And during this second phase, all I had to do was kill the huge warden that spawns in to get the trophy. And my friend that disconnected was also trying to give me comms to help out. Back in. Remember to pop your ult. So I just and pop it right now? Focus. Insta? Yeah, Insta and focus on that big guy. That's okay. what you need to do. Okay, okay. Go on this. <laughs> Just do the jump again. I'm doing the jump glitch. Come on. Please. Just die, bro. Please, is that it? Yes! Yes! Oh my god, let's go! That Easter egg was ridiculous, man. With my third zombie map completed, I decided to take a break from zombies and hop into the specialist headquarters. This mode replaces the story mode from previous CODs and it teaches you how to use every specialist character from multiplayer. There's five trophies in this mode and honestly, I don't want to bore you with explaining them all because it's just me shooting bots for a ton of hours which was tedious, so I cleaned up these trophies easily and moved on to the multiplayer trophies. There's a total of five multiplayer trophies in this game and the first one I got was Welcome to the Club for reaching level 10. And then a couple games later, I came across my first cheater. Look at this guy, he's flying. What is this? What the hell is that? Look at this guy. I don't know what's happening in this game, but he's flying around cheating. That's all I know. He's like killing everyone. I don't understand that. I actually ran into a couple of those guys while playing multiplayer, so just be aware if you want to go for these trophies, that could happen. Anyway, I carried on with business as usual and got special issue weaponry for earning 10 medals with my special weapon. Then I got special issue equipment, which was similar to the last trophy. After those, I was able to reach level 55, which got me battle tested. And for the final multiplayer trophy, I needed 50 wins. What I did for this was go into free for all matches, and if you place in the top 3 at the end of the game, this will count as a win. So I grinded out some free for all games until I got my 50th win. Oh, there it is. And that's it. Vanquisher, Trophy, and then that's my 50 multiplayer wins right there. And that's the last multiplayer trophy that I needed. Now I only had zombies to finish and the worst part of the grind, which is blackout. Incoming missile, you have to be joking me, right? I'm not gonna get out because I don't know what happens. But we'll get to that soon enough. First, I went back into zombies and remember I wanted that 100% so all the maps I had left were from the DLC. I started with classified. The trophies on this map are really simple. I started with power struggle and the highest office. I got these ones back to back. All we had to do was not take the elevator down and keep the power off until round 20. Kill that last guy. Should get the trophy. Yep. Power struggle. So yeah, that's one of them. And then I think we get the other one, right? Okay. Highest office. Next, I did a mini Easter egg to unlock this Winter's Howl Wonder Weapon, which got me another trophy. Then I used it to freeze and shatter 115 zombies in a single game, and I also had to shock 115 zombies with a trap in a single game. And I was already on the final trophy because this is the only map that doesn't have a big Easter egg or boss fight. All I had to do was stand in this Nova Crawler gas and kill 50 zombies. Got it. Oh, that was. Oh, I got it. Step on the gas. That was perfect help by you. Good job. With four zombie maps down, I only had four more to go, and the next one I played was Tagged or Toten, which was one of the weirdest zombies experiences I've ever had. The match started off normal. I got my first trophy for shooting a jar on a lighthouse, and another for visiting a secret location on the map, but then about halfway through this game, I noticed something strange about the zombies. We're both heading to the final boss fight, and I have this weird glitch. Well, it's actually a glitch that's really helpful. I can't get hit by zombies. Look at this. They're just chasing my teammate. And I'm perfectly fine. Look at this guy. He doesn't know what's going on. So this is the freest Easter egg of our lives. I don't know how I did this. This glitch began near the start of the game and there's really no point in showing these trophies on the map since I was invincible somehow. But I will show Salvation Lies Above which is the Easter egg. There's no boss fight and all we had to do was stay inside this dome while zombies attacked only my teammate because I'm so good the zombies are scared to attack me. Meanwhile my teammate's the punching bag. I'm reloading. Uh Anyway, we just followed the dome until it fully closed in, which meant the easter egg was completed, and we got the trophy pop right after, followed by a legendary stat line from my duo. Oh, look at that. T 20 downs. Uh-oh. 
three zombie maps remain and the next one I played was Dead of the Night. This is where it ramped up in difficulty once again. I jumped right into the action because when this gate opened up, I came across a new enemy type. Okay, where are we? I see a werewolf. I see a werewolf. I gotta lead him to the library. Look at this guy. This is crazy. Okay, calm down. Yep, there's werewolves on this map, which was insane, and I had to lead this one back to the library and kill it for a trophy. Alright, here we go. Light him up. Oh, he's still alive? He just killed the zombie. Oh no, he knocked the zombie over. Does he have weak, weak spots? Oh yeah, maybe the red spots are weak spots, maybe. God, I have the silver bullet and I still can't get him. Okay, I got it. Board gamer trophy -ered. We took him down in the library. After that, I also summoned another type of enemy from this coffin, and I had to let this thing bite me for another trophy. There it is. Yep, Megabyte trophy here, and finally, man, that trophy was annoying. Okay. Next, I crafted a stake at this workbench, which got me a trophy for using all workbenches, and remember that crazy red enemy that just bit me? I had to lure one into the dining room and kill it with the stake I just crafted, which got me the well done trophy. And the final trophy before the easter egg was to use this wonder weapon to shrink 15 zombies. Seriously? Thank you, shrinking feeling. That one is so annoying. Get me out of here. Jeez, that one's so annoying, man. All right. Now it was time for the Easter egg trophy, and you may have guessed what boss I was fighting by now, but if you haven't, spoiler alert, it's a huge werewolf we have to defeat. The werewolf is invisible in this fight and can deal a ton of damage to us if we're not careful. To reveal him, I have to rotate these lights until they turn green. Then we must stand in the green area to stun him. This opens up a small window of opportunity where we can deal some damage. Let's see how this went. I think this one's about to hit. Yeah, let's go. Hey, get in, get in, get in. I'm weak, I'm weak. Throw I'm a just... monkey. Yeah, I'm holding out my shield so I don't get hit. Oh. Did I die? Nope. Oh, I did. I died. It's okay. I got I got the perk. We're spamming him, though. Pop your all too, by the way. Doing it. Okay, got it. Okay, get in, get in. I'm in. Do you have your all? Yeah, I'm going to ult him. Ulting him. Shoot him up, shoot him up. I think he's done. Wait. Not Maybe not. He'll just fall down. Dice him up. Is he done? No, not yet. No, okay, okay. Oh my god, bro. I might die. I might actually die. You're throwing a homunculus? How do you get hit so much? Because I don't have a shield. shield. Yeah, I don't have a shield. Uh, I'm going to use my silver bullets one. That's what I was using, too. I have a bit, but I will. Here's here. Yes! Oh my goodness, dude. How long did that take? I actually thought it was bugged because he wasn't dying. Good job, man. With Dead of the Night finished, only two zombie maps remained, and the next one was Alpha Omega, which is set on Nuketown from Multiplayer. To switch things up, let's start with Electromagnetic Awakening Party, which is the Easter Egg. This fight was against Electro from The Amazing Spider-Man 2, and to defeat him, we must fill up canisters in different locations around the bunker, while Electro and a ton of zombies try to kill us. Once all the canisters were full, we had to run back to the starting room and keep punching Electro until he goes back into the pyramid. Punch him. He might get stuck. We go over here to the right. Keep going. Keep going. He's almost there at the steps. He's almost at the steps. He's almost there. Then we did it. Let's go. <laughs> Good job. Oh, let's go. Got it. And there's the trophy. Easter egg completed. After the boss, I cleaned up the rest of the miscellaneous trophies, starting with Galvanizer for killing 115 zombies with the Galva Knuckles. Then I crafted my first ray gun, and I also crafted the yellow ray gun, orange ray gun, and my duo crafted the purple ray gun, which got me another trophy. And after crafting the yellow ray gun, I had to stun 10 zombies with it, which was simple. Also, on this map, there's these blue electric zombies that roam around. I had to grenade 15 of them when they were on the rooftops for another trophy. And finally, I had to survive 20 full rounds without leaving the starting area of the map, and this was a very tight space. Plus, we ran out of ammo on round 20, so surviving this would be insane. Oh, shit! Okay. Your nope, nothing, nothing. Okay, keep trading, keep trading like No, there's a dog, there's a dog, there's a dog! I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, fine, fine. I almost got my nade. No, 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 you, you don't understand, I'm actually dead. Just keep running, keep running. No, no, you don't understand. The dog's killing me. <laughs> I'm almost gone. I'm 11 health, I'm 11 health! I'm nade them, nade them, nade them, nade them! I'm not yet, not yet, not yet! No, please, please, please! I got it! <laughs> I'm standing, oh standing grenades! I almost got my ult! I almost got my ult! Okay, please, please, I please. I got my ult! <laughs> what 
There's no way I lived that. You should see that replay, bro. Last guy. Just tank it. I'm tanking this. How is he not dead? Yes. Wow. That trophy was stressful. I have now completed every zombie map except for Ancient Evil, so let's hop right into it. I started with building this green hand. There's four hands that all have different abilities on this map. Each hand I use will get me a trophy when I take out a group of zombies, and I started with the green hand. Here goes nothing. I got it. Okay, so I did have to come into this area. Move mountains, okay. I did the same thing with the blue hand. Then I used the yellow hand right here. Okay, yeah, there it is, too close to the sun. Then the last hand that I got a trophy for was the red hand right here. And the final trophy I'll show before the Easter egg is where I had to kill this big enemy by only using the shield attack. There we go, yes. The best offense is a good defense. See ya, buddy. Greek Tragedy is the final Easter egg trophy I needed, and this fight was against the zombie warlord and Pegasus. This fight has two phases. In the first phase, we fight Pegasus. All we have to do is shoot the horse out of the sky until it lands on one of the islands. When this happens, I have to go over and deal a ton of damage until the zombie warlord decides to come down and attack us. This is the start of phase two, and we must shoot him until he takes a knee, then alt him until he finally dies. Nice. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, good job. Oh, here it comes again. Wait, wait, here. Beam, 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 beam. I don't have all, though. Neither do I. Is there fire? Wait, do we get it? Wait, is he dead? Wait. 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 It's that easy with that gun that you had, too? Oh, my. No way it was that easy. <laughs> That's every single zombies map and Easter egg completed, so zombies should be over, right? Well, here's the thing. Prestigious Award is the final Zombies trophy I needed. I had to level up 25 different weapons to the max level. This was extremely tedious and took me multiple days of just farming zombies with different types of weapons for hours on end. But eventually I got to my last weapon and here was my reaction. This was such a grind. Yes, finally. Oh, that was such a grind for that trophy, man. And I had double XP weekend basically for like two weeks straight. It was finally time to play Blackout for the Platinum Trophy. This mode only has five trophies, but it's the most painful trophies in the entire game, and Blackout is the reason most people quit this Platinum journey, so I'm gonna see just how bad it is. Ah! Dude! Starting with Specialist Superfan, funny enough, this is the easiest trophy in the game because all I had to do was load up into my first match and it auto-popped for me right here. Next was my first win trophy, and this is exactly how it sounds. I need to get my first win in Blackout, but here's the problem. Depending on the time of day, I would search for games but couldn't find lobbies until I loaded up into the Alcatraz squads mode. This is a respawn battle royale that I played with my friend and usually two other randoms. Getting our first win was not going to be easy though, because every teammate we would get looked like this. You see him, brother! Oh my, I'm done. This is what I got to deal with, right here. These teammates. What does he do? And this is why Blackout is so difficult. You just witnessed it right here, folks. So we had to duel squad basically the entire time and we eventually got down to the last couple of enemies in this game and we were dialed in trying to get this win for the trophy. He's on the wall. Alright, oh behind us, behind us somehow. Knocked him, knocked him. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm, I'm safe, I'm safe. Oh, I'll come down, I'll come down. Yo, there's six people, six people. Okay, let's just chill. How do I repair sh- I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna bother. To their time. Knocked one. Uh, Kill two. Nice. Oh, I got uh, 2v2, 2v2. Okay, I'm reloading, I'm reloading. In front of me. Nothing to our right. Dead. Got one left. One more in front. Front. Let's go. Let's go! Oh, finally, dude. <laughs> the trophy oh, earned my first go, win. We only got nine more to go. <laughs> You heard me say we only got nine more to go because the next trophy was not a fluke. This is where I had to win 10 games. And after that first win, we were able to get the momentum going and I started frying these kids. I was getting 16 plus kill games out here. Then a couple days later, we reached our 10th win and I finally got the not a fluke trophy. Now only two trophies were left, but these last two trophies are why players quit this platinum. 
These last two trophies require me to unlock a ton of characters and I'll explain how to get these. Let's start with Zombie Fanatic. To get this trophy, I had to unlock these eight different characters and to unlock a character, I have to complete a certain task in game. For example, to unlock the Richtofen character, I had to find and obtain the Blood Vial item. Then I had to finish the game in the top three. We usually just camped on the outskirts for these challenges and waited until everyone died so we could get the character. Uh, yeah, we're top three. You can just, uh, you can just die. Should be, uh, right. should be third. Okay, good. Character unlocked, Richtofen. All right, another character down. Nice, good job. That was an example of an easy character, but every character has a different set of requirements, and this next character, Dempsey, was more difficult to unlock because I had to find a Juggernog bottle, then down an enemy player with a grenade and kill them. This one was a bit of luck and skill. Colby! I got him! <laughs> what a nade! I got the character. Dempsey. There were also some characters that were so difficult to unlock we had to boost some of them, like Shaw for example. For this, I had to find the alchemical set which drops when killing zombies and is completely RNG. Then I had to down two opponents with wraith fires or acid bombs, which my friend helped me out with. Here, here. I'll, I'll, spawn, I'll spawn back. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, yeah. finish me, finish me, finish me. Okay, okay, stay alive, stay alive. And did you grab an acid bomb? Yeah, yeah, I did, I did. And finally, when that was done, I just had to complete the match. This was also the final character I needed to unlock for the trophy. Oh, I don't. You have no more oh, I got it. Wait, wait, I got a trophy. Zombie Fanatic. I got all the characters. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> finally. Continue. And there's the final character right there, Shaw. After a long grind, I had one final trophy until the Platinum. Blackout Historian is where I have to unlock four final characters, which caused nothing but pain. The first character I went for was Menendez. To unlock this character, I had to find a locket item, which my duo found, and when he was just about to drop it to me, this happened. You go fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> Callum, it's not a time to dance, Damn, brother. Man, brother, fuck. brother, it's not a time to dance. I know you're- Okay, I dropped it. I dropped it, I dropped it. The fuck, wait, finish him, finish him now. After that dance party, you saw he dropped me the locket. Now all I had to do was get two shotgun kills and finish the game to unlock the character. Should we go up this way? There's a kid here. Knocked him, knocked him. Okay, got one. Finish him, finish him. Got one, got one. I need one more, one more. Got another one. My guy's yelling. My guy's just yelling. Hold on. Got another one. I'm fired up right now. I'm absolutely dialed in. Yeah, my guy's like, let's go. It's 1v2. Oh, come on, man. We got it anyway. Let's go. Tell me I unlocked it. Yes, Menendez, it's been done. I had three characters left and the next one I went for was Mason. Now we were on the large map and to get this character, I had to find a white stained t-shirt and then all I had to do was finish in the top three, which I did on this attempt and I got the character right after. Two characters were now left and to get Reznov, I had to find a hat that could be found in multiple locations. Then I got my friend to stand in the open because I had to hit a snipe from 200 meters away. And after that, all I had to do was place in the top five, which I did here and this unlocked the character right after. Now it all comes down to one final character woods for the platinum trophy the first two steps are simple i land in the woods area and i have to grab this bandana that's sitting on this box then i must take the helicopter and fly it around for exactly one minute after that all i have to do is win the game and the character will unlock then the platinum will be mine but i've never won a game on this map yet so this was going to be brutal incoming missile you have to be joking me right i'm not gonna get out because i don't know what happens there's attempt number one just down the drain like that. Now I know missiles instantly kill you. Perfect. Attempt number one was rough, but I kept playing and I won't show me grabbing the items again. From now on, just remember all I have to do is win a game for the platinum trophy. And on this attempt, only three players were left. So all I had to do was take out two guys for the platinum. Open this door right when they're fighting. Good one. One left, one left. Where is he? No! No! Oh my god, no way, dude. I didn't know he was to my left real quick. Fuck. That one was painful, but I wanted to keep going. And this time I got into a squad match and we got down to the last couple of guys again. Hopefully this time I can get the win. Very nice push, bro. Oh no, he got killed. Come on, I guess 2v2. These guys are sweaty too. Got one, got one. Come on. 
Seven bullets! No! I had seven bullets, dude, and my teammate died on me, bro. Oh my god, there's no way. I kept losing right at the end, but I wanted to keep going, and hours later I was back with my friend, and only eight people were left. Let's see if we can finally clutch up and get my final win for the Platinum Trophy. I down one. Nice, nice. I'm pushing, pushing. Lit, lit, lit. Nice. nice. Okay, okay, can you cover? I'm, I'm, in cover, I'm in cover. Got you, I got you. Maybe I hit a snipe on one. Hold on. Snipe on? Knocked him, knocked him. They're behind the shed. In the shed. I down one. Nice. Good, good, good knock. Okay, get ready. We're you I'm no cover. Do you have cover? No, bro. Another barrier? No, I don't. Oh, Behind the shed. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. They're pushing, they're pushing. Yeah, I'm going for a snipe. He's sliding. Right in front of me, right in front of me. Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. Buy this, buy this fucking box. Shoot him. I shot him up a little bit, a little bit. I'm aiming. Really weak, really weak. He's one, he's one. Oh, one shot, one shot. One is, one pushing, is. I'm pushing, I'm pushing. He's actually one. What? Nice. Dead, dead, another one, another one on me. I'm dead, let's go! Oh. Let's go! <laughs> It is done! Blackout Let's Historian go. and the Platinum! Black Ops Source Platinum is done! Let's check it out. 100% completed. Let's go, baby. Oh my god. What a way to end it. What a way to end it. Black Ops Force Platinum took me 181 hours to complete, and that includes all the DLCs. I also did Black Ops 3's Platinum, which took me even longer. So click on the screen to check that video out now. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.